Happy 420, by the way. Criminalizing and legalizing marijuana is part of stopping people from ruining their careers over something that should not ruin your career. This is another person that you could choose from on the Ohio primary midterm election. I've been watching this debate between John Cranley and Non Whaley. This is an option you'll see if you're a Democrat in Ohio. And I gotta say, John Cranley sounds like a winner to me. Not only with uh, the 420, let's listen to his credentials here. Being the uh, mayor of Cincinnati was my greatest honor. Co-founding the Ohio Innocence Project, which got innocent people out of prison, is my uh, maybe the greatest professional accomplishment. In both cases, we had to overcome big odds. Reduce poverty one and a half times faster than the state of Ohio. In short, we didn't talk about democratic ideals. We put democratic ideals into practice. Cincinnati has been the leader on police community relations in this country. In fact, after 20 years, we built true community-oriented policing. Shootings are down, but arrest and incarceration are down over 20 years by 50% annually. We've made our city safer by arresting fewer people. These are democratic ideals. I'm the only mayor that I know of that put a $15 living wage law into place. Along with Columbus, we became the first city in Ohio to get a 100% score from the human rights campaign. I built the largest solar farm ever built in this country by a city. The city of Cincinnati government services are carbon neutral. And we doubled public transit in Hamilton County under my leadership, and I helped lead an effort to expand preschool. Investing in diversity and inclusion, treating people more fairly, not perfectly, but more fairly, investing in infrastructure, education, clean energy. These are our ideals as Democrats. And guess what? They work. Mike DeWine's trickle-down economics and corruption have shrunk the middle class yep. in Ohio. My middle class is getting bigger. Trickle-down sucks. And I believe if we're going to beat Mike DeWine, we have to have a candidate whose record is better than Ohio's, not worse. Mike DeWine did all right during coronavirus, but it's time to get rid of these guys. They have made our state a complete and total embarrassment. Now we're part of the Confederate traitors. We have don't say gay bills and the kind of abortion laws that won't even protect your daughter if she gets assaulted. We're just a bunch of inbred redneck dumbasses with illegal insurrectionists serving as our government officials this is what kind of people we are right now in ohio is that is that what you want